Hey everybody, Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Chrome driver for your Selenium project. It's going to be a step-by-step -step guide and if you get anything out of it, please hit the like button. Let's get right into it. The first step in the step-by-step -step guide is to open up Chrome and click the help button. Once you click, up the, click the help button, it's going to give you uh, a dialog box. It's the quickest way to do this is just to click about or type in about and then go to About Google Chrome. Uh, from there, we're gonna look for our version. The version, this, this version number is very important, just the first part of the number, so 102. So we're running Chrome 102, and we're gonna have to download a file that corresponds with that. So to get that file, the next step is you go into Google and you type in Chrome driver download. The first result should be chromedriver.chromium.org slash downloads. We're going to click that. It's going to bring up a page with a bunch of different downloads. You're going to find the one that corresponds with your, with your version of Chrome. So we're Chrome uh, 102. So we're going to want to download version 102. You see that right here. So we're going to click that. It's going to bring up this directory. Chrome driver 102, all the different versions of, of the computer you may be running. So you might be running Linux, Mac 64, Mac 64 with the one uh, M1 chip, or Windows. We're going to click Mac 64, or uh, yeah, Mac 64. Okay, very quick download. I have it right here. We're going to open that download, unzip it. What that's going to do is unzip this file, the Chrome driver file. All right, so once you have the Chrome driver file, uh, we're going to have to put that somewhere specific on this computer so that we can later reference it uh, in our code. So the Chrome driver file, uh, there, the Chrome driver folder location is slash user slash local slash bin. And to, uh, to open that dialog box that you just saw, it is going to be the Apple key plus shift plus G. That's what opens that. So Apple key or command shift G, command shift G. And then we're gonna go slash user slash local slash bin. And as you can see, I've already installed the Chrome driver here. So I'm just gonna, just, just to illustrate, I'm gonna delete my Chrome driver. Um, and then we're gonna just place a new one in there. Um, this is our latest version. Just drag and drop it in there. It's gonna prompt you for your password. Boom. So now our Chrome driver is in, in this binary uh, folder. And we're gonna open up Selenium, right? And this is just a little sample program I've, I've just been doing for illustrated purposes. And in the, in the current paradigm, of referencing uh, the location is, uh, well, we can ignore this one, but it's right here. So we pass this S, S variable into our, uh, into our Chrome driver. So we want to make sure that this service location is the same as this, right? It could be desktop if you wanted to, it doesn't matter. Um, but I just, it's just a good practice to put it in this binary folder. So slash user slash local slash bin Chrome driver. And that's, that's going to get later passed on when we uh, instantiate our driver. So this is where that goes in that S equals service variable. So again, you know, just for whatever, if it was, you know, uh, you do, if, if that was the uh, file name, then we'd want to change that here too, slash underscore YouTube, just for your own edification about about how these references work, right? But it, but that's not what it's going to be. All right, let's change that. Back. So yeah, that's how you install the Chrome driver on Mac OS X. If you got anything out of this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching.